Hello and welcome guys. Big thank you to all you guys that have been in touch regarding us not doing a video for a while. It's good to be back guys, so thank you ever so much for that. In today I've got a 2007 Nissan Pathfinder with a snap timing chain. Now this isn't just any old snap timing chain. This has gone with a right band and it's taken both the camshafts with it and it's done a cam cap, snapped some bolts, obviously done some shims and then done the valves and then potentially even crack pistons but that, that's a simple repair for us we used to seeing that but what I want to show you is how to repair a cylinder head under extreme damages because most people would actually scrap this cylinder head so I'm saving the customer or the owner a small fortune being, being able to actually do the repair myself now the first thing I needed to do was obtain some new camshafts obviously both of the owners are broken and brand new genuine camshafts are a fortune of 600 quid each from Nissan um, but I've been able to find these on aftermarket for about half that right guys if you come in and have a look at this cylinder head it's lower timing chain that snapped as, as per normal but if you have a look at this here one broken cam cap And that's the other side of the cam cap but if you have a look there look guys broken bolt so not only if we have a look let's turn this camshaft right there. see where it's broken big chunk missing out of it and same with this one see that so right I know for certain that I can repair that and I'm going to show you how. I'm an absolute dab hand with decent drill bits. You've got to be able to use decent drill bits and always rely on decent drill bits. I'll start with a 2.5 mil. All what I always do, centre punch, middle of the bolt and hit it with a hammer. That way I've got a starting point for the drill bit. And then what I'll do is I'll be able to tap a, a, a Torx into it once I've got so far down and I'll be able to extract the bolt. And then I'll use a tap, clean the thread out, make sure there's no damage and I'll be able to create a new bolt. Simple as that. Now, drilling like that is not that straightforward at all. <laughs> don't get me wrong I've had plenty of practice and I've got a few wrong but if you do get it wrong there is a way out of it and that's what I really want to show you helicoil versus the time cert now the difference between the two is is quite simple the only way that you can really use a helicoil is on the external of an engine so say for instance your EGR or you cross threaded your EGR or alternator bolt. Helicoils are okay for that, but they're not okay for anything internal or anything hard for the engine. Because what you can see with the helicoil kit, which is these guys, you get your drill bit, you get your tap, that's what sends it down. And I can get one out. That there and you'd send that down and then chop off the end bit with that bit there now what you can see with these is look it's like a spring and that re-threads and you can obviously you can get all different sizes but like I said you can't use that for internal engines so say for instance that I got it wrong and rather than scrapping the cylinder head the very best thing that you can use guys is a time cert now with a time cert kit you can do head bolts you can do boot mains bolts cam cats bolts and that's what a time cert looks like and this is what you get in your kit so you get the exact drill bit size you get the counter sinker and then you get the tool put the time cert in 
and they are absolutely fantastic, strong as hell, and will get you out of trouble, which, you know, like I said, can save you hundreds of pounds on, on the repair. So I know now that I can go ahead, take off the cylinder head, replace the valves, possibly the valve guides, and the shims that'll be damaged, timing chain, and we'll have the repair done for the customer. So, that's one of the things I wanted to show you today. In the next video, I'm gonna be showing you how I drill them out. And um, that's all I can show you for to now. So thanks for watching. Uh, thank you for your support. Press the subscribe button. There's more coming soon.